Hey guys, it's me Ram here and today I want to make a little bit of a different kind of video than usual. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about my best tips in order to succeed in cubing while being a university student. Recently, I've been getting quite a few questions from people asking me how I'm able to manage my time cubing while being a full-time university student. Obviously, cubing is a very practice-heavy hobby and as Jaypam says, it, it is, is so easy, easy to get rusty at cubing. cubing. However, in my first year of university, I was able to break my first two 2x2 Indian national records, become the 2023 New Zealand 2x2 champion and practice enough, all while maintaining my studies. Now just to clarify, I'm not some academic genius and definitely not someone who gets straight A's. However, I like to think I'm above average. To be completely transparent with you guys, my grade average is roughly an A minus B plus and in my first year of uni, I got only A's and B's despite doing a major that is definitely on the harder side, data science. Anyway, with all of that being said, let's get on to my tips. The most important thing by far you can have is self control. You need to know when it's important to stop cubing and need to be able to. For example, my exam period in October November 2023 lasted about 2 weeks. For those 11 days, I basically didn't do a time solve. I put away my stack mat timer and all of my cubes except one 3x3 and one 2x2 in my top shelf. And for those 11 days, whenever I wanted to cube, I would just do some untimed solves as a de-stressor on only those two cubes. Now of course, this is very much on the extreme side of things and you don't have to do something as extreme. Maybe you can just put away your cubes the day before an exam and keep everything with you during the exam period so you can get some time to practice. Maybe for like half an hour a day or something. However, you unfortunately can't just be spending the day cubing away before an exam. You must have a good balance. My second tip is, you should know what competitions are really important for you to attend. If you live in a region where competitions happen every two weeks or something, it's probably not feasible for you to be able to attend every single competition, especially not during an important time like the exam period. For example, New Zealand's North Island Championship took place in my city, Auckland, just 20 minutes from where I live. However, I also had my discrete math exam the day after the final day of the competition. Therefore, I just skipped the competition and decided to study instead, which was definitely a good decision because I ended up getting an A plus on that paper. For me personally, the only type of competition I would not miss during an exam period is nationals and even then, only if it's in my city. Again, this is definitely on the extreme side and you can have more comps that you might prioritize over exam study, especially if you're better at cubing than me. But please don't go to every competition during exam period, especially if you get them very often. My final tip, I'm gonna end off at a more positive note, is to just not give up on cubing. I understand that university work is genuinely hard and there's a lot to learn, but there's a big reason why you cube in the first place, and that's because you enjoy it. During university, it's important to have a hobby that keeps you motivated and refreshed outside just studying. This is the big reason why I attended many competitions last year, almost one a month on average, because it kept me relaxed and rewarded. Therefore, in my opinion, if you enjoy it and have the passion for it, keep cubing, practice when you can, and attend competitions, because at the end of the day, that is the work and hobby balance that will keep you mentally sane while studying. I hope you guys enjoyed this slightly different kind of video. Let me know if you guys want to see some more videos like this where I just do solves in the background and rant about various topics I guess. Thanks a lot for watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed and goodbye. Good luck for your studies and cubing journey.